Oh, hi. It's me, Forenza. Are you my blind date? Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to find some parking and let's just say even though my car is small, there is a lot of bigger cars out there that wouldn't mind hitting me. So, oh, let me go ahead and sit down. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you. I'm sorry. I, I'm really nervous. I haven't gotten a chance to be on a date in a while because, well, work has been really hectic. I've had a lot of changes in my life the last couple of months and now I feel like I'm ready to start mingling again, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I over-talking? Why don't you tell me a little bit something about yourself? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. It seems like you have a lot going on for you right now. No, I'm not judging. I'm not trying to make a joke. Oh, I'm blushing now. What? You think my blushes are cute? You're just trying to flatter me. I know I look like a deer caught in the headlights, but... I'm just really glad that I got a chance to finally meet you. I was really scared at first because... I was worried about my hair and if I would get lost or if I was going to run late. And I wouldn't want that to be a first impression. But parking kind of didn't help with that now, did it? <laughs> I'm glad you weren't waiting too long. So, this cafe is pretty nice. I haven't been to it before. Have you ever came here before? Oh, I see. Well, I'll consider you the expert. Could you give me any recommendations on the menu? Oh, well, I'm okay with most things. Just a little bit scared of spicy things, though. I can usually handle it in the mouth, but once it hits the stomach, it's anyone's game. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm getting nervous again. <laughs> All right, I'll try to calm down. I'll let you go ahead and order for me. So, it looks like the waiter's taking a little bit of time. Do you want to talk about hobbies? Well, for me, I do a lot of work at home, so I like to draw and write and... Watch the occasional K-drama. Yeah, it's um, Korean dramas. And there's a lot of funny romantic comedies on there. Like, there's this one new series that just came out. And it's so cute. The boss falls in love with, the, with his secretary. But they're both so clueless about it. And I just can't help but laugh at it and enjoy it. A romantic? Well... I never considered myself to be romantic when it came to shows, but yeah, I, I guess that is kind of my go-to when I watch my soap operas. What about you? What are some of the things that you like to do? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. I see. Is it something that you've always been interested in? Oh, well, I'm glad to learn that about you. Hmm. So, you don't look nervous at all. You must get all the girls. Well, how could I not think that? I mean, you're not bad on the eyes and you seem so relaxed right now. Or maybe you're just better at hiding it than I am. I... I try to wear my emotions on my sleeve a little bit. Why? Well, 
growing up, I never really got a chance to express myself too much because there was always something serious going on or there was a lot of duties or responsibilities I had to take care of. So now that I've taken care of most of them, I want to be able to be emotionally open with people. I want to be able to tell someone how I feel, what I think of them, what scares me, what I want to do more with them. You know, so I don't want them ha I don't want the person that I want to see for the rest of my life to think that I'm emotionally unavailable or that they have to guess what I'm thinking or anything. I want to be able to have a relationship that has good communication, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I rambling? <laughs> Thanks. It's just sometimes, I guess since walking in, it just feels a little easy to speak with you. To kind of let myself relax a little more. Even if I do still get a little nervous. And I'll have to hide it with you at least. <sighs> you know what? If I'm being really honest, I was kind of scared to come out today. I wasn't sure if I would, would be, you know, um... <sighs> How do I put this in words? I was kind of scared of making a complete idiot of myself. Usually, I'll be clumsy. Or worse, I'll have something that's really embarrassing, like, stuck on me without me noticing it before. It's too late, and I've been... There I go, walking down the street with a piece of toilet paper on my shoe for the last hour or something since I've been to the bathroom. <laughs> so that's not a uncommon fear, huh? Well, I'm glad that's something we both have in common, that we're both a little nervous about things. Just to let you know, you look great, though. <laughs> and so is your smile. Oh, it looks like the waiter's here. I guess we can order now. And thank you 